It is always very entertaining to watch gardening guru Cisco Morris and Ed Hume battle it out for gardening supremacy. They are back, and they both claim to have better gardening tools. So we'll just have to see. You can judge at home. Guys, you're here. <laughs> oh, mine are so much better. You, yes, no, I've already had no, a sneak no, preview no. here. Now, just a quick question, Ed. You don't have as many things here as Cisco does, do you feel like yours are superior and oh, don't no, require no. so many? And I have some <laughs> hidden. And you have He's some probably hidden. got another $50 <laughs> bill under there. He bribed you <laughs> last time to win. He, he I'm still mad money. about that. He put money in his pot. Okay, yeah. so how, how do you want to show me? Who Do you want to take well, turns? I'll have him go first. Okay. All right, Cisco, do it. So, this is a Felco hand pruner. I know you love that. Oh, yeah. These are like the six gun for the cowboy in the old west. I sleep with this in bed here. You might need it. You never know. And uh, Swiss steel stays sharp as could be. Mm -hmm. This is number eight. If you're lefty, you want number nine. All right. They fit perfect, even if you have small hands. You want a holster. Otherwise, you're going to put these in your pocket and rip the upholstery of your car when yeah. you forget. Yes. And while you're at it, get yourself a good file. So you can keep it sharp. And you can keep this so sharp. Just a couple of swoops across. And you're That's good. all it takes. About oh, how much do yeah. those cost? These cost, you know, the price has gotten a little expensive. I think these are like 80 bucks they or are. something. But yeah. you're going to have them forever. You have them forever, and they're all replaceable. It's one dead thing. The thing that turns it off, yeah. the Duma flat there. Right. Okay, I never use that because if you use it all the time, it starts to, it gets loose and yeah. then it, and then. So you just stick it in the holster. Just stick it in the holster. Okay. This. Yeah. Yeah, no. It gets loose and then it closes on its own. Oh, and is yeah. that a torture? Yeah. Oh. Okay, my first device oh, look, yes. here oh, my. is, and this is the one that's going to beat him. Is you take a rock in this hand, a rock right? in this hand. Oh my goodness. And you have the slug in between. Uh huh. And this device, this is completely organic. It's completely natural. Is there going and to be death totally involved? totally eliminate. And you don't do this very close to the face. <laughs> you do it away. But you bring Yikes. the two together, and that's the end of the slug. I feel El Kabatsky see, it, pest control and right it there. It doesn't cost a penny. No, I feel kind of bad about that. All right, Cisco, you're on. Okay. And, and by the way, let's just take a uh, second. I'll use this one. Because slugs are laying their eggs now, mm -hmm. and they're about the size of a BB, and they're in clusters. And there's usually 35, 50 or more. Oh if you goodness. find them, you step on them. Get rid of them. All right. Kill very this good. is the best what is this tool thing? ever You've been using made. this all morning. Uh, it's called cut and hold. Could you hold that? I will hold this. Okay, so look, I got a deadhead this. If I don't, this will stop looming because, you know, they always got it. I'm so ready, doctor. You're, you just, you could do this on roses, anything. You just grab it. I love And it this. holds it. You exactly. drop it in the container. Oh, la, la. This is so say, wonderful. I have to say, the holding part's really good because I had the old kind where it just drops down behind the rose bushes yeah, and then you get all hung up in the in bush trying to get and, uh, it. And you never out get of scratched there. by the rose. All right, by the thorns well, all yeah. over you. Okay. Yeah. Now, one of the most common weeds Ooh. in the garden is a dandelion. You know, and this, by the way, I was when I was here at King many, many years ago. I was doing a public appearance after a lecture, and an elderly Japanese man came up, handed this to me. It was a piece of paper with his name and his telephone number, and look what he gave me. Ooh. This is a device that you can go in around the dandelion, and which has a very long root, and pull it out so it doesn't come back. Wow. You know the story is with dandelions that they put a, a stick of dynamite on a dandelion, <laughs> ignited it, and the dandelion grew back. Well, well, I can here, believe that. Here you I get the whole it. dandelion. So thing. that's really cool because that, that's yeah. serrated. But you can't that's buy that very, anymore. Very sharp. But you know what? That guy made me one, but I broke it. Is that oh, right? That's the best oh, tool wow. ever was. All right, was. anybody out there make these Except knives? for these ones. Somebody, okay, what, okay. what are you going to show so us? So this is the true weeding tool. See, everybody buys this one. Yep. And they break, these things come out, and mm -hmm. you lose it. You find it five years later because you can't <laughs> ever find it. Look at that rubber handle. So comfortable. Feel that. That's, this is, is the, that the most knife, comfortable. Right? Yep, and it, you cannot break this. 
I love the fact that this one is flat because oftentimes I'm trying to get stuff out from between concrete or by the wood yeah, and yeah, the curved right. one doesn't work as well. Yep. So I like both of those. Can I use that knife on other things or is that just for oh, dandelions? Yes. Oh yeah, no, no. So we can go can however we want. Okay, no, no, Oops, I think, whoops, yeah. <laughs> grab the blade oh, there. No, all no. right, now, the claw. Now here's something I really like and I use all the time. Most of these claws are just three of them. This one is a Japanese model, and it has five. And feel those. They're very, very strong. Oh, that's yeah. good That'll for do scratching it. backs. It's gorgeous. <laughs> yes. Not Yikes. only scratching the back, but it's great for pulling weeds out of the garden. You can just grab them. Yeah, and... where the three miss most of the, you know, 50% of the weeds. Okay. This gets them all. But, all right, but if you get too tool. close to your plant, watch it come out with it. Oh, la, la. You just have to be a little bit careful. Okay, we have one okay, minute okay. left, so go to your big guns oh, all here. All right, okay. I'm going to go to knee pads, because if you don't wear knee pads, you're making a big mistake. And these kind don't have that horrible Velcro that they quit working because mm -hmm, they get all goobered mm -hmm. up. These last forever. But this okay. is the one I really oh, want to show. doubling up. With, even with a uh, snail on it. I didn't oh, know that guy came <laughs> with it. <laughs> this, snail travel. I use this for absolutely everything I do. I've had it since 1981, so I wow. divide plants, dig plants, mm -hmm. and the thing, stainless steel digging spade, you can't get this variety, but it's been run over by a backhoe, takes a licking and keeps on digging. We can yeah. have yeah. a board to separate oh, things, yeah. okay, yeah. This is one of here's my your favorite. last word. This is one of my favorite tools. It fits on the garden hose. You can put liquid fertilizer in here, and it is what happens then. The combination of the water from the hose, the fertilizer, you get the fertilizer into the soil, and at the same time, you're getting air into the, the soil, and you're getting uh, water into the soil. So you're doing three things at once. At once. Does an absolutely beautiful job, and your plants just jump out of that And you soil. just move it around. I know yeah. we're out of time, but I have to show the most important tool of all. What's that? What? So after Come. you're done doing all this okay. hard gardening, get that <laughs> bottle of wine out and relax and enjoy life. Oh la la! <laughs> thing we can all agree Best with. Tool of all. I think if you would just be a little more enthusiastic, everything yeah, right. would be fine. Ed, thank you. Everybody's a winner today because we learned from the two of you. When we come back, how to get incredible deals on a cruise vacation, our travel expert is here after this break. Thank you both.